My name is Imano Yabua, and I'm a CA. Hey, my name is Michelle, and I'm a CA. Hi, my name is Mary Burrell, and I am a first year CA. My name is Richard Fojo, I am a CA. My name is Camilla, I'm a CA. Hi, my name is Margaret Canizero, and I'm a second year CA. My name is Austin, I'm a rising senior, and will be a third year CA returning to residential life next year. This upcoming year, we'll be presenting a lot of new challenges that none of us have ever dealt with before. We know that many of you are concerned about enforcing new rules, like wearing masks. Confronting people can be very scary and stressful, but thankfully, CAs do it all the time. We've got some tips for you as CAs. Let's get started. Tip number one, set expectations. Set the expectations at the beginning. If you let your students know on the first day what is to be expected of them in regards to wearing masks and social distancing, you'll avoid having to have that conversation later on down the road. Tip number two is to stay calm. Stay calm. Stay calm. Think, breathe. Just breathe. Then speak. If you get upset, the students might get upset and things might escalate. If you start to speak while you're getting stressed out, the other person is gonna start to feel that stress. The third tip that we wanna talk about is being assertive. You don't wanna to be too passive or too aggressive because this will likely perpetuate the problem and likely won't yield results that you are hoping for. You are setting the tone for how that conversation is going to go. It also means standing up for your rights while also being respectful of the other person. So if you start off too accusatory or too aggressive, that immediately escalates it. On the other hand, if you're very timid or very quiet, then the person may be less likely to really um, follow what you're trying to get them to understand. Assume the best when you call someone. Maybe their masks have been stolen or that they've lost them, you know, or there's some sort of barrier preventing them from following the regulations. Be careful to not shame or embarrass anyone. One good tip for this would be pulling students aside and having a very private conversation with them. Doing this will likely yield the results you want and it won't hurt any feelings along the way. Tip number four, use I statement. I will begin class once everyone is wearing a face mask. I expect you to wear a mask. An alternative to an I statement would be a you statement, which is something we want to stay away from. You statements can sound accusatory. Or oh, you need to wear a mask. You can't come in without a mask. You need to put your face mask on. You see the difference? Tip five, don't engage in an argument. You just want to stay focused on the goal of that conversation. Just repeat your expectations. Be a broken record. I expect you to be wearing a mask. I expect you to be wearing a mask. You can just repeat that over and over again. Let them know that they are welcome to debate the science of mask wearing with you outside of class. Tip number six, practice. Find the words that work best for you and practice saying them before students return. Practice right in front of our mirror. With your cat. With our friends. Call me, I'll practice with you. Practice with our spouses. It's much easier to confront someone in a real life setting if you aren't using the words for the first time. The more we practice, the better we are. Trust me, practice, do it. You'll be glad you did. So if you guys just follow these simple six steps, you will be sure to get all the students to put their face masks on in a respectful, calm manner. We know this next year is gonna be very difficult for all of us. There will be new challenges that none of us have faced before. But you totally got this. Big thank you to each and every one. Thank you all. Thank you for putting in the effort. Thank you for your help. Thank you.